Electronic wallets have been a great move towards promoting and mobilizing digital transactions. While a traditional wallet stores your credit and debit cards and liquid cash, electronic wallet does the same electronically by storing information of the card and virtual money. Electronic wallet is also known as prepaid payment instruments or PPI in India. The Reserve Bank of India defines electronic wallet as a payment instrument that facilitates purchase of goods and services, including financial services, remittance facilities etc. against the value stored on such instrument. With an electronic wallet you can pay a restaurant bill, pay for your online shopping, book your favorite movie show, pay for groceries, cab services and even transfer money to other bank accounts. In India, electronic wallets are primarily governed under the Payment and Settlement Systems Act, 2007 and the Master Directions on Issuance and Operation of Prepaid Payment Instruments, Directions of 2017 which is regulated by the Reserve Bank of India. Electronic wallets are classified under three broad categories. Closed system electronic wallet is issued by business entities to enable purchase of goods and services from that entity only. The system does not allow you to withdraw cash or for redemption. Examples of closed electronic wallet system are IRCTC's electronic wallet and Amazon's electronic wallet and most online shopping portals also have their wallets where you receive your refunds and can utilize them for future purchases. A semi-closed system electronic wallet is used for purchase of goods and services, including financial services through clearly identified merchants slash establishments. This electronic wallet also does not permit cash withdrawal and redemption. Some examples are Airtel Money and Paytm. Closed system electronic wallets are used for purchase of goods and services, including financial services at any card accepting merchant location or point of sales terminal. This wallet enables cash withdrawal at ATMs. Some examples are Ropa, MasterCard, and Visa. First you need to download the app onto your device. Make sure you choose a trusted and secured wallet. Fill in your basic details like name, email address and phone number. Set up password. Link your credit or debit card or bank account to the electronic wallet. And you get started to use the app. According to the Reserve Bank of India, the maximum loadable or reloadable limit for electronic wallets is 20,000 rupees per month with minimum KYC. And the maximum loadable or reloadable limit with full KYC is 1 lakh rupees per month. The fund transfer limit is restricted to 10,000 rupees per month. But for pre-registered beneficiaries, the limit is 1 lakh rupees. However, PPI issuers may set limits within the ceiling based on the risk profile of the user. The Unified Payment Interface was developed by National Payment Corporation of India under the guidance of RBI. UPI now allows instant money transfer between different electronic wallets or bank accounts. In other words, UPI facilitates interbanking in real time. Common issues faced in using electronic wallets are Delay in fund transfer from electronic wallet to bank account Time out of payment or fund transfer server issue due to high load or slow connectivity or even lost transaction for complaints against closed and semi-closed electronic wallets the first step is to contact the customer service of the wallet or service provider if not resolved you may escalate the complaint to the grievance officer 
If the issue still remains unresolved or if not satisfied with the resolution, you may approach the court. For complaints against open system wallet which have partnered with banks. At the first stage, you need to complain to the customer service of the bank. If not resolved, you can escalate the complaint to the banking ombudsman. And if the problem remains unresolved or if not satisfied with the decision of the ombudsman, you can appeal to the court. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos.